Uh, hello there and uh, welcome to the fourth video of uh, SQLite tutorial series. So in the previous video we have uh, implemented uh, uh, this recycler view and we have shown uh, all our items from our database table here so it works uh, perfectly fine. And now in this video uh, we're going to implement uh, update uh, functionality for our database. So here we're going to create a new activity and this activity will be named update activity. So here uh, when we click on some uh, of our uh, recycler view items, we want to navigate here inside our update activity. So our layout should be pr pretty much the same as in our uh, uh, add activity. So I'm going to copy this layout and uh, paste that. Of course, I'm going to just change the IDs. So uh, those IDs should be different. So I'm going to put the number two uh, at the end of each uh, ID. So just do the same like I did. Okay, and of course our button should be update button this time. So let's rename this text to update. Okay, so this is the activity uh, which uh, we will open when we click on our recycler view item here. And uh, let's add here uh, ID for our root linear layout on my row XML file. And then inside our custom adapter we're going to uh, add this uh, linear layout and we're going to find the ID of that element here. Okay, and uh, next inside the on bind view holder, we're going to create on click listener for this uh, uh, linear layout. So that means when we click uh, on some of our items in a recycler view, we're going to trigger this uh, on click listener. So I'm going to add this uh, integer position uh, just in case, but we can remove that uh, later, I will see. So in onClick uh, method here, uh, we're going to create intent and we're going to pass uh, the first parameter context and the second update activity. And of course, I'm going to use context to start the activity. So here, uh, basically, we are navigating from our main activity uh, where we have our recycler view and we're going to uh, redirect to our update activity. But before that, I want to also store some data and transfer that data inside our new activity. And uh, I want to pass uh, those uh, those information like uh, ID, author, or sorry, we don't need maybe ID, or we can pass the ID, yes, ID, book, uh, title, author, and pages. So here uh, I'm going to just rename this uh, arrays here, so do that, and for the name of this uh, we can just say title, author, and pages. So when we click on our uh, uh, recycler view item, uh, we're, we're going to transfer the, uh, those informations inside our new activity, which is update activity. So why we uh, need that? Well, it's because uh, when we open update activity, I want to show to a user uh, the exact information uh, which uh, uh, the item he clicked uh, contains. So here on our update activity, I want to uh, create uh, edit text objects for our three edit texts and for one button. Okay, so let's find the ID of those elements inside our own create method here. Alright. So those are the same names, so just paste them two times, left and right. And uh, let's set on click listener for our update button here as well. So uh, now I think we should create a new method here. So let's name this uh, get intent data, and inside this method we are going to get the intent data which we passed from our uh, main activity. So uh, we will say uh, if get intent has extra ID and uh, if has uh, extra ID title and of course uh, author and pages. So if uh, there is the data uh, which is transferred to our new activity, then we're going to execute some code here. And in else block, we're going to display a simple toast message uh, saying no data, for example. All right, so here uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to create uh, four different strings for ID, title, author, and pages. And I'm going to store uh, the information from, from our intent data inside those strings. So use a get intent, get string extra, and type this uh, key, uh, which we uh, used inside our uh, custom adapter. So uh, ID, title, author, and pages. And we're going to store that data inside our, inside our strings. 
So let's rename this uh, method uh, get and set data because we're going to here uh, set the data to our uh, edit text as well. So let's comment this uh, getting data from intent and uh, just below that uh, setting intent data. Okay, so here uh, we're going to use uh, our edit text to set the text and I'm going to pass this string. Okay, just add this author and pages. Okay, and change that and that. Okay, so now I, sh I think it should look uh, very nice. So we can run our application to check it out. But before that, of course, uh, call this method inside our own create method here just below our on click listener so let's uh, run application to check it out so let's click uh, the first uh, item here and as you can see we get the exact cor exact correct information so let's get back and uh, click the second item as you can see the title 2 and the third item the title 3 of course so it works like a charm all right so uh, now uh, when we click update i want to update this uh, data uh, inside our database table so uh, to do that uh, let's first head over to our my database helper class and uh, let's remove this public modifier access we don't need that and we're going to create a new method here so void we don't have any returns uh, name update data okay so uh, our update data uh, should have a SQLite uh, database object and we're going to get a writable database here so we can uh, write to our database table of course uh, next we're going to use a content values object and we're going to store uh, the values uh, inside this object so uh, use its method put and uh, here we're going to use a key and value so the key will be a column title and of course the second one column uh, author and pages and here we can uh, add the different uh, values okay so now inside our uh, construct or parameters here we want to add uh, those strings and we want to pass those strings here so when we call this update data method inside our uh, update activity we want to pass uh, uh, those datas uh, here and we want to use uh, this update method to update our uh, table so uh, here we are going to use the table name, so update this table name with those uh, values where id is equals to row id and row id we will get uh, dynamically here from our uh, parameters here as well so you will see, don't worry and the results uh, should be stored inside this long value so if uh, result is, uh, equal, is equal to minus 1 that means uh, there is no uh, data or uh, it's some error and we're going to uh, Okay, this successfully update message should be located down below in else block and here we're going to display a fail to update. Okay, and here in else block this is a success message. So this update data should be called inside our update activity. And of course uh, those uh, intent data which we get and set, we want to pass those inside our uh, new uh, method so let's use this uh, update data and we can pass parameters here so it is very important to call this get and set intent data first before uh, using this update data method so remember that so here uh, we're going to uh, set parameters and we're going to pass those uh, datas from our intent data which we already got uh, from our first main activity and when we pass those datas our update data will process those uh, values and store uh, and update our table so as you can see here let's try it out okay click update so uh, okay sorry I forgot to uh, to add this uh, update data uh, code inside the onclick listener so it's uh, outside of our uh, on click method so we, let's uh, change that so let's cut this code and just paste that above and of course our my database uh, helper here initial initialization as well okay and uh, 
this one uh, can be above but we can fix that a little bit later so let's check it out let's open our application okay so it didn't work well last time so we we need to check it out why and uh, let's type just uh, random uh, values here so we can uh, check it out so 222 two, two, and click update so when we get back uh, we cannot see those updated values but uh, when we run our application again we can see but uh, the reason why it didn't work well uh, it's because uh, we have an error in our code so first i'm going to cut and paste this code here above our on click listener and then uh, navigate to my database helper class and as you can see our update data method uh, has some error so we have set column title three times instead of using uh, column author and column pages and that was the error okay as you can see now uh, our code should work perfectly fine so let's uh, click on this second item and let's uh, add some new values so title 2 author 2 and click update so when we get back as you can see nothing changes but when we uh, restart our application we can see the the changes so that means uh, when we update our uh, our data in our database table we need to refresh our activity so in order to do that uh, let's go to custom adapter and uh, now let's add activity here uh, activity object and of course in the constructor we're going to add this activity as well so we're going to need that and you will see uh, why so down below here in where, where it says start activity uh, we need to use activity object instead of context and uh, add the start activity for results for result and here as a request code we're going to add the number one so uh, basically when we navigate from our main activity to our update activity uh, we want to start uh, activity for results and we want to get back some results from that update activity so now inside our main activity we want to add uh, here one more uh, parameter before our context and uh, down below uh, we want to override method by control o click and uh, on activity result so here i'm going to set uh, if request a uh, result uh, re or request yeah request code is equals to zero then we're going to use uh, this recreate method which is uh, basically uh, refreshing our uh, main activity to start again okay so now let's check it out click on some uh, item here for example this first and let's uh, change those values this is just an example for example new title and here we can say new author all right and uh, here we can say uh, 111 click update and when we get back to our activity the values are changed so uh, that's perfectly fine uh, so it works uh, like a charm and uh, now let's uh, update this one as you can see it works fine as well so let's update this third item as you can see it works uh, fine as well so uh, that was it for this video uh, please like this video if you found it helpful of course and uh, see you in the next one